Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick fun comparison video between Fedora 36 XFCE edition on the left versus Linux Lite uh, 6.0 also running the XFCE desktop environment there as well. So without further ado, we'll get into this one here. Now starting off uh, the XFCE desktop environments, it is a little bit customized on the uh, Linux Lite side of things there. So it's got a nice little menu and uh, we've got all of our categories just as we do with the Fedora side. Although I do like the fact that you've got a little search menu so you can actually type in what you're looking for for Linux Lite, but um, yeah, a little bit more stock standard for Fedora there, unfortunately. Uh, moving across here, let's uh, take a look at the, uh, I like to right click and have a look at the, the context menu. Much for muchness, I guess you've got a few little more options here, not the least of which is the task manager and the, uh, the terminal, which is fantastic. Uh, screenshot, maybe a little bit over the top, you wouldn't really need that there, but uh, we'll open as administrator. A few little bits and pieces actually, which is quite funny because Fedora is more considered to be the, the, the techie version of the two, but uh, in this case, obviously not. Uh, moving across here, we'll have a look at the, the file managers. Now these should be roughly the same here. For instance, the Thuna file manager, as we can see there. We can also see that Linux Lights is a little bit more clean cut and nice color schemes, the way that they're going about it there, but much of a muchness in terms of version in there. I just like the look and feel. It's like a semi dark tone, light and dark tone for Linux Lite. It's just uh, prettier in my eyes there. Okay, so let's uh, look into the, the back end if we can here, see what's going on. So we'll need to open up a terminal. In fact, I think I've already got this terminal open here. And here we go. So Fedora is actually the upstream for uh, what will be Red Hat Enterprise Linux. It is like the bleeding edge though, so it's 5.17 kernel, so great for the latest and greatest hardware, for instance. Whereas Linux Lite is uh, it's actually based on the long-term service release of Ubuntu, so 22.04 in this case. But you can see the kernel isn't lagging too far behind, it's 5.15, so still pretty good in terms of hardware support, I would say there. Uh, let's see, we'll go across to the uh, CPU and RAM usage on boot up, although certainly always take these values with a bit of a grain of salt. So the CPU is mostly idling out for both of them. And we've got the uh, the RAM on boot up for Fedora is about 590 megabytes of RAM, whereas Linux Lite, let's see if it lives up to its name, is about 583 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So much for the muchness really. In fact, Linux Lite doesn't appear to really live up to its name. If you've got Lite tagged behind the word Linux, and that's the name of your operating system, and Lite is spelled L-I-T-E, nice little tiny version, then I, I guess you have to uh, expect it to be two, three, four hundred megabytes, but five, six hundred megabytes really is, is really where it's up if you want to round up there. So I'm not entirely convinced uh, by by the name. They should just change it to Linux Fun or something. But hey, that's just my two cents. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.